Paranormal Activity 4, Short Moon Review. With no more sisters to set it at the house of, and already having used up their prequel, the higher-ups decided to move the story to another family. And what we get is a pretty skippable movie. There's barely any forwarding of the overall plot and hardly any expansion of the overall mythology. The number of characters is good and you'll tolerate all of them like a couple of them. And though this has multiple cameras, like the second one, it doesn't really have any useless angles. Now, the basic idea is that the next door, the house across the street from the teenage girl Alex, her younger brother, five or six year old Wyatt, and their parents, houses a creepy kid, later named, to turn out, turning out to be named Robbie. Now, his mother is in a car accident, and Robbie moves in because apparently complete strangers move in to people's houses now. I... Yes, anyway, anyway that's not the, the only thing in the plot that kind of just... Yeah. And in addition, the movie at times really feels like stuff was cut out. And we again have, I think this might have the most missing from trailers. I don't know if you're wrong about that, but there's definitely stuff that you see in the trailer that is not in the so far presented cut of this movie. Now, the basic concept is the same. You have a camera carried by someone or stationary found footage kind of thing with paranormal activity. You know, the... It used to be that something would sort of move in the background of a shot that stayed for a long time. In this one, they seem like they've lost patience with that. They've, they've teenaged up, not only in the underage and yet strangely sexualized lead character. They have opted for more jump scares, and in general the scares are kind of uninspired, although a few of them do genuinely work. Several of them genuinely work, and a few of them are downright good. And the... where the third movie had a camera on an oscillating fan going all the way to one side, all the way back, slowly, this one has the motion sensor dots of a Kinect thingy seen through night vision on a camera. They, they do interesting stuff with it, but that's just kind of meh comparatively. So, yeah, it looks good, there are some good scares, decent enough characters, good acting, but it barely does anything, it barely moves anything forward. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.